Millions of foreigners flock to Vietnam each year for its cheap travel options. But behind the vibrant facade lies a darkness not many are aware of. After World War II, it seemed like Vietnam was finally on the path to freedom from colonial rule and conflict. However, the aftermath of the Vietnam War left a haunting legacy that still haunts the country today, mostly due to the devastating effects of Agent Orange. Weird name, isn't it? Let's dive deeper. Agent Orange, a powerful herbicide, was extensively used by United States troops between 1961 and 1971 during the Vietnam War to clear forests and crops that provided cover for North Vietnamese and Viet Cong troops. Shockingly, this chemical continues to cast a long, dark shadow over Vietnam more than 40 years after the war ended. The scope of this chemical's use during the war is haunting. The US military sprayed over 75 million liters of various herbicides across not only Vietnam, but also Cambodia and Laos during that decade. Agent Orange, which contained the highly toxic chemical dioxin, is now recognized as one of the most toxic substances ever known to humankind. What makes the situation even more distressing is that Agent Orange has been linked to a wide array of serious health issues. These include cancer, birth defects, skin disorders, severe psychological and neurological problems, and it still lingers in Vietnam's ecosystem. It's found in the soil and even in the fish that people rely on for sustenance. Shocking statistics reveal the extent of the tragedy. Nearly 4.8 million Vietnamese people have been exposed to Agent Orange, resulting in around 400,000 deaths. The associated illnesses are heart-wrenching and include cancers, birth defects, skin disorders, autoimmune diseases, liver problems, psychosocial effects, neurological defects, and gastrointestinal diseases. The suffering extends to an alarming number of individuals with up to 1 million people currently struggling with disabilities or health problems attributed to Agent Orange, including a tragic 150,000 children. The sinister chemical, named Agent Orange after the colored stripe on the barrels it was stored in, was used by the US Army alongside the South Vietnamese forces who collectively spent a decade from 1961 spraying approximately 80 million liters over 30,000 square miles of southern Vietnam. The intent was to weaken the Viet Cong enemy from the north by diminishing their food supplies. Today, studies show that dioxin, a toxic component of Agent Orange, still lingers at very high levels in the soil, food, human blood, and even breast milk of people living near former US military bases in Vietnam. This toxic legacy serves as a stark reminder of the hidden costs of war, affecting generations in Vietnam to this day. While the war has cost a lot, Vietnam has actually become a rising star in the global economy. After showing promise for decades, it achieved the remarkable status of the fastest growing Asian economy last year, having an impressive 8% growth over the past few years. What's more, it stands out as one of the few nations worldwide to achieve two consecutive years of economic expansion in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic. In 2022, Vietnam experienced a significant increase in foreign direct investment, reaching the highest level in 10 years. Big players in the industry including Dell, Google, Microsoft, and Apple have shifted important parts of their supply chains to Vietnam in recent years. They're now looking into ways to expand their presence in Vietnam as part of a China plus one strategy. Vietnam's advantageous geographical location near China and its vast pool of young, highly educated and cost-effective labor have turned it into a magnet for manufacturers. While Made in Vietnam was originally associated with products like Nike shoes, it now extends to higher-end electronics such as Apple's renowned AirPods. In the past year, over 20 billion in foreign investment poured into the country, primarily from nations like Japan, Singapore, and China. The United States has also increased its share of imports from Vietnam, a trend that gained momentum with the onset of US-China trade tensions in 2018. The swift export-driven growth has been instrumental in raising millions of Vietnamese people out of poverty in recent decades. Nevertheless, Vietnam's economic path now stands at a crossroads. In the short term, to maintain its status as a happening destination for investors, the nation must enhance its business environment. In the long run, Vietnam aspires to meet the ambitious government goal of achieving high income status by 2045, making the most of the surge in manufacturing to diversify its economy. At the core of Vietnam's economic rise lies its growing middle class. Presently estimated at around 33 million people, this class is projected to reach a staggering 95 million by 2030. 
The growth of the middle class in Vietnam is driven by several factors, including a youthful and expanding population with a median age of just 30, creating a strong workforce. Vietnam's economy has maintained an average annual growth of over 6% for the past decade. This growth has created jobs and increased the money people have to spend. Better living conditions in Vietnam, due to economic progress, government actions, and investments from abroad, have also been key in improving the financial situation of the middle class. But there's more. The rapid urbanization of the country, with an expected 50% of the population living in urban areas by 2030, is creating new opportunities for the middle class, particularly in the services sector and manufacturing. With a steady increase in disposable income, driven by economic growth and rising wages, the middle class is spending more on goods and services like education, healthcare, and entertainment. Additionally, their consumer behavior is evolving towards sophistication, leading to higher demand for foreign brands and high-quality products and services. The rise of e-commerce in Vietnam, fueled by increased internet access and the popularity of mobile devices, is also playing a significant role, making online shopping a preferred choice for citizens. This inward growth is a huge contributor to the country's current success. This economic boom has obviously transformed Vietnam, but it brings its own set of challenges and consequences. The first consequences of this are the tourist trap. With an increasing number of tourists visiting Vietnam, some locals have taken advantage of the situation by exploiting unsuspecting visitors. One concerning trend that has emerged is the sugar daddy culture, where young women pursue relationships with affluent tourists, often older men, in pursuit of financial benefits. While not all such relationships are harmful, some individuals engage in scams that have resulted in tourists losing significant amounts of money, sometimes hundreds of thousands of dollars. These scams can take various forms including elaborate online love affairs where individuals build emotional connections with tourists before manipulating them into providing huge sums of money. In one shocking case, an American was swindled out of $139,000 by an online lover, revealing the extent of these evil schemes. Online dating scams are not the only concern for tourists. Pickpocketing is another issue that has plagued popular tourist destinations in Vietnam. Thieves often target crowded places, capitalizing on the distraction of tourists to make quick getaways with their valuables. Their target is anyone who carries expensive jewelry or valuable stuff like cell phones or wallets. When the pickpocket finds a potential victim, they get close to him or her, then act quickly and smoothly without making a sound. Could this be exploitation, or are the poor in Vietnam forced to resort to such measures? Even more disheartening is the horrible issue of human trafficking in Vietnam. Over the past five years, reports have detailed how human traffickers exploit both domestic and foreign victims within the country. Furthermore, Vietnamese tracking victims are exploited abroad. A staggering 55% of workers in Vietnam are employed in the informal economy, where labor laws are not effectively enforced. Part of this evil issue is something even more sinister, sex trafficking. Sex trafficking in Vietnam affects people of all ethnicities, including both Vietnamese citizens and foreigners, with the primary focus on women and girls who are forced into prostitution, marriages, and pregnancies. These victims face threats, physical and psychological harm, and often contract sexually transmitted diseases due to rape and abuse. Malnutrition is widespread, and some even endure torture and murder. This issue permeates all levels of Vietnamese society involving male and female perpetrators from various backgrounds, including organized crime syndicates and gangs. Shockingly, some government officials, troops, police, and foreigners have also been complicit in sex trafficking. The true extent of sex trafficking in Vietnam remains largely unknown due to insufficient data. The secretive nature of these crimes, inadequate victim identification processes, and other barriers. Enforcing sex trafficking laws, investigating and prosecuting cases are met with issues like corruption, societal thinking, border management issues, a lack of intersectoral cooperation, and low awareness of anti-trafficking laws. This lack of protection makes individuals working in these conditions extremely vulnerable to trafficking. The stark reality is that the rapid growth in tourism, while undoubtedly boosting Vietnam's economy, has also cast a shadow on the social fabric. The exploitation of tourists, whether through sugar daddy culture, online scams, or pickpocketing, represents a distressing underbelly of the nation's progress. All of these complex issues are something Vietnam must target immediately. It's a nation that has potential to become something great, but that can only be done when everyone starts working towards a better society.